The first real demonstration that man was able to alter the course of the weather came a little over 20 years ago. In 1946, two scientists in the United States discovered that by dropping pieces of dry ice from an aircraft into a cloud, they produced a snowstorm. The idea was immediately taken up in Australia by the CSIRO Division of Radio Physics, and experiments were soon underway to find out whether extra rain could be stimulated by this method. The trials took place on days when there were a number of separate but similar clouds in the same general area. A check was first made by radar to see whether any of the clouds already contained raindrops. If there were no raindrops present, then a hundredweight or two of dry ice was tipped into the top of one of them. These experiments were successful. When conditions were suitable, most of the clouds which had been treated with dry ice rained soon afterwards, while the other clouds around did not. But it was soon realized that this would not be an economical method of making rain over a large area. It would mean that many tons of dry ice would have to be taken to high altitudes above the cloud tops. 